Good morning, Lavish fam. Welcome back to another vlog. Good morning, Lavish fam. Today is Mother's Day, and in honor of Mother's Day, I figured I would vlog for the first time on my new camera. I am sitting here, and I'm excited um, because uh, I'm hoping that I'm doing it right, and I'm hoping that I'm looking at the right camera, or right? Okay. Hold on a second. Somebody need to talk to y'all. Say hey. Hey. Say happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Say hey, lavish fam. Say hey, lavish fam. No. No. Mm -mm. You gonna go put your clothes on so we can go bye bye? Yeah. Okay, go for it. All right, guys. So I have literally been in the house on bed rest for an entire week. I have not been anywhere. So. She still so, been doing stuff. Don't say mind your business. Nope. What did I do? What I do? Make sure y'all comment and let her know to set her foot down. So she went to a graduation. She went to a picnic ceremony. So she anyway, wait, 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 wait. I did what? You saw. You went to a graduation. Okay, so that's a lot you in. Okay. To a picnic ceremony. You, saw a movie. you went out to eat. You not been on bed rest. Okay, so I lied. I think I lied. Okay, so let me back it up. Let me back it up. My oldest daughter Ariel graduated from nursing school this week. So, I did go to her penance ceremony, which only lasted an hour, and I came back to the house. And then her graduation was the next day. It lasted for an hour and a half. And then Dante and I grabbed something to eat. And then I sat at the movies and watched Doctor Strange. But I came back to the house and then went back to bed. So, it's not that I've been out doing stuff, because I haven't really been out doing stuff. She organized the pantry. Okay, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. So I did get up yesterday morning and I opened the pantry and something and that didn't smell right. So I started looking. It was some potatoes. So I took the potatoes out and then I started organizing it. And then I completely organized their pantry. Okay, okay, so they, they doing too much talking. I'm gonna have to let y'all go because I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. But since it's Mother's Day, I feel like they should take me to Home Goods. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. I feel like I should be able to get out the house for just a little bit. So I'm going to go to Home Goods and I'm going to come back and check in with you guys in just a little bit. So I hope you all are enjoying your Mother's Day so far. Um, yeah, and then I will be back uh, in just a little bit. You so cute? Yeah. Okay, Kai wants to show you because he said he's so cute even though he has not went and put on any clothes. Okay. Go, go put your clothes on. Oh, you do got on clothes. He do have on clothes. He has on a dinosaur set. You are cute. You go brush your teeth? No. Go do that. Go okay. brush your teeth, wash your face. Where do you even put that? I don't know. I think you put. I think you would put, I think it, in you put it in the office. No, this is definitely like a bedroom chair. Not office. A who chair? A bedroom chair. I think it's more like an office, like a cute little. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Beauty. How do you keep that clean? You don't sit in it. It's for show. Oh, it's for show. Oh, look okay. at it. I love it. It's five. It's I think it's at five. Oh wow, that's twelve ninety nine. $5.29 compared to the $12.99 price. So this one is cheaper than that one, but it's the same thing. Are you buying it? What am I using most for?
So the girls and I are about to go and get us some pho. I'm trying to get out this car area, a little bitty old car. So I am so hungry. And I just hope that this food is um, really good. I've never been here. So I'll let you all see what I get in just a minute. Baby, that food was so freaking good. <clears throat> the drink was good. The food was good. Oh my goodness. It was so good. I don't know why I've never been here. But I'm glad I did. So I'll see you guys when we get back to the house so I can show you I what I got at Home Goods. Can you help? Right. I can hey guys, so we just got back from Home Goods and from having lunch. So I just want to show you guys what I bought really quickly. I did not go crazy. I just bought a couple things. Bless, you. Bless your car. Bless you. Bless your car. Yeah. And since it's Mother's Day, I did buy Ariel a couple things as well because she will be soon moving into her own place. Now that she is a nursing student graduate, she will be an RN very, very, very soon. She's already accepted a job. So exciting times but anyway let me just show y'all what I got so this Amani's this busy bee um yeah. is it a coffee cup it's just pretty I'm about to look yeah I'm about to open it up I'm so nosy I need to see what's in here because baby ooh, I don't think this is a coffee cup maybe it guess it could be Okay. For your iced coffee. Okay, whatever. So yeah, that's what Amani bought. It was only five twenty nine. Huh? Please reach it. Oh please. It's Mother's Day, but I work with Kai. Alright, and then also, so this is a a book to go on the table in the <laughs> I am tripping and off of my like gang today. But anyway, this is a, a book I had bought to go on the table in the um the living room downstairs. Is this clear? There we go. There we go. Focus, focus. Okay, so yeah, so this is the table book that I bought. It has the gray and the blue to match like the downstairs decor. So the couch is supposed to come on Wednesday now um, because, of course, they had to take it back. They had to switch it out. Um, and then he texted me and said the earliest they could do is Tuesday. But, of course, you know, I'm having my lumbar puncture on Tuesday. So I said Wednesday. So Wednesday, they're going to deliver the couch. So I bought this book to go on the coffee table downstairs. And it's like uh, called Imagine John Yoko. But the colors in it and all of the matches so well with the downstairs decor and this book was $16.99 then I got um oh what is that um for this soap oh this is for Ariel <laughs> her colors are gonna be like um I think yellow and blue mm -hmm. for her like kitchen and living room like downstairs or well in her house I don't, I don't know if she's gonna have stairs but anyway in her kitchen she wanted like yellow and blue so we got this little sugar um container it was $6.99 and it's one of her mother's day gifts from me and Kai as well as 
this coffee container and it was $5.99 so those two for Christmas I have bought her and Amani these iced coffee um, makers so Amani I bought her one for her dorm and I bought one for Ariel because they both like iced coffee so I bought both of them one for Christmas so that'll go really nice with her iced coffee machine and then I got her these this 16 piece glassware set and it was $12.99 so it comes with uh, I think eight like large glasses and eight small ones so that's for her house so that's what I got her for Mother's Day and then I had got um, this right here because I go through this stuff so quickly and they had this large one is a stone um, stone care granite quartz and um, granite quartz and stone daily cleaner for the kitchen. So it's just a refill thing um, because like if you buy the regular one, it's um like I want to say maybe five six bucks. No five bucks. I want to say maybe five or six. But now I can just refill it. And this was like I think it was fourteen fourteen ninety nine. So just a refill thing for when I clean my quartz countertops. I also got this candle and it was 10 bucks and it says relax, can you see that? And it's um, herbal plus citrus and bright. Um, it smells so good, so, so good. It's a very soft um, scent, but it's very like um, smooth just what so I got this and then I also got this right here it's a planner and it has the little plant thing right here okay so my plan is to sit this outside next to those two um, chairs on the porch with the plant on both sides to kind of just give it a little bit more um, more height as well as like more visually appealing but they only had one and it was $29.99 so I got it and I was like well maybe you know I can find one at another home goods or TJ Maxx or Marshalls but if I don't then I'm gonna end up taking it back because I need two to kind of do what I want to do with it um, want to go on each side of the chair, but I thought this was like super cute and fit the like style of the front patio, I mean front porch very, very well. So then we went down the street to TJ Maxx to see if they had um, another one of those, which they didn't, but they had another one of these on clearance and it was 18 bucks. And you remember I bought these for the garage organization to put like um, my nails and all that stuff in. So. I end up getting this instead and I think that's all I bought it is I didn't go crazy but 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 I got something else to tell you guys so before I got sick um, I had decided oh please once again let's try this again so um, before I had got sick I had decided um, that it was time for me to try to do something for myself um, and my plan was to kind of transition to PRN nursing the first of the year. Um, but I was, hold one second, please. Um, as I was saying, um, my plan was to transition throughout the year. So the plan was for me to transition throughout the year to become a PRN at the hospital. Um, and focusing on trying to build my own brand and my own company. Uh, I hadn't really spoke about it because I didn't want to like, you know, talk about something that had not actually been like put into works. But you know, God has a way of like speeding things up or slowing things down. And um, uh, basically I'm guessing that it was time for me to take a chance on me because I, I had... I decided that I was going to take a chance on me and um, start my own company. 
So that is exactly what I've done. I have, I have become an LLC. Lavishly Customs LLC is now a thing. I am now going to be uh, advertising my own, um, some of my own like furniture pieces, as well as helping people with interior design elements of their home. And I am going to uh, transition into just working as a nurse PRN. This um, last medical scare has uh, sped up my process a little bit more and uh, faster than I wanted. Um, my plan was not to leave bedside nursing until December 31st um, as a full time, but I'm no longer able to really do a full-time bedside nursing position. So now I'm working for me um, and I'm going to work just PRN or part-time as a nurse. So I just wanted to share with you guys that I do have an Instagram page. It's Lavishly, Lavishly Customs. Um, and I have ordered my business cards. I have an employee identification number. I am legit <laughs> as of April 22nd. Um, so this is exciting. Today is Mother's Day. So I felt like this was the appropriate time to just kind of let you all know. Because we're celebrating mothers. I'm a mother. And on Mother's Day I decided I wanted to let you all know. Hey, so Ariel and I just got back to um, the new house. Is that what we call it? Do we call it the new house? Nope, because it ain't my house. Well, anyway, we just got back here because my appointment is in the morning uh, for my lumbar puncture. But she has agreed, right, to help me put those bookshelves together tonight um, because they, they, they're they not complicated. So it should not take us long. But these prints that I ordered from Walmart came in, so I'm pretty excited because they're going to go in the office as well. So, yeah, we're going to, let's go to the office. Come on, Ariel, let's go to the office. We'll take our prints. So, so it's a little dark in this hallway. So yeah, so that's the plan. We're gonna probably attempt to put this office, uh oh, hold on. Put the office together tonight. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna transfer you guys to the other tripod. Hold please. All right, so as I was setting you guys up, Ariel decided to take up on herself to take down the paper blinds. So we will be hanging curtains and they were um, a collab, so I will be talking about that in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna basically just get the supplies we need to finish off these bookshelves from the garage, and then I will show you all what we're working with. Hold, please. Okay, so as I stated, this is going to be a simple uh, project, and um, I stained all of the book shelf. Oh, you did that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Right before I got sick. All right, sis. Yeah. And then, so we have all of these. That are <laughs> and then, um, these are already, these came black already. And I'm going to be using these um, L hinges that are also already black. Come on, come back to focus. Okay, they are already black. So guess what I don't have to do? I don't have to paint them. So we're going to be putting these um, on there to hold the shelves on. So let's get started. Your lashes look good. My lashes do look good. Y'all see my lashes? I'm jealous. <laughs> Ariel hooked me up today before we left um, from the other house so and these are totally different from the lashes that she's ever given me so 
Maybe she didn't want me looking a hot mess tomorrow. Is that what it was? Sure. Yeah. All right. I'm just joking. Let me just go ahead and get started. Hey, 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 hey. I need you to go over there and um, put those in those two photo um, frames. It's hard to find good help around these pieces. I'm telling you. <laughs> two of these one will be this way and then the other one will be this way and then they'll be like yeah yeah so that's the plan i just need to figure out how i'm going to lay them down to make sure that they are um all level so let me figure this out and then i will come back and show you where we're at in the process because i want this to be done quickly um because you know I'm supposed to be still resting, but I'm feeling really good. So I just want to get it done quickly. So hold and I'll come back. Okay. Hi. I am still trying to adjust to using my camera, my, um, vlogging camera. So, you know, this is my first time using it for this vlog. So, um, I don't know what the quality of this video is going to look like. That's what I'm basically trying to tell y'all. We just working with it and seeing what it's going to look like. But I find that it's a little difficult to use for these projects because I like to keep moving around. And, um, yeah. So what I'm basically doing is, um, if you all remember what the two... I mean, what number two bookcase looked like, one side was flat and the other side was like standing up. So I have this that I'm going to use as the leg that'll go like this, basically. All right, guys, it took a little bit longer than oh, expected. <laughs> um, I think I'm a little rusty. What you think? I'm ready to go to bed. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to show you what the first one looks like because we do have the first. Um, the first one is another one? Ariel, is one that goes in both corners. Don't do that. No. <laughs> I, 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 so we have it together. So let me just show you what it looks like real quick. Hold on. So that is the first one. That's the first bookcase. And I absolutely love it. It is so cute and different. So it'll be another one over in that corner. I'm not going to show you what that corner looking like because I passed Ariel and she's looking a little rough. So I'm not going to do her like that. So that's the first one. And now that we got the first one together, I feel like we could just pop the second one together real quick and just knock this out. Girl, you tripping. No, we're not. <laughs> Ariel, we'll be back. We'll be back. Hey, guys. So I received these curtains from Nice Town. Nice Town is an online curtain company that specializes in um, custom curtains. So you can get anywhere from um, blackout curtains, sheer curtains, any type of curtain that you would like. Um, these happen to be the blackout curtains that I received. You can customize them to your liking. Um, you can do um, whether or not you want a certain length, whether or not you want a certain material for the grommets, whether or not you want um, a certain width. Everything that you want, you can customize with them. They also, I believe, sell um, curtain rods. Don't quote me on that, but I think they do. Uh, but they are very easy to work with. They, I mean, their curtains can be as short as you want or as long as you want. Um, the packages ship pretty quickly. 
for them to have been custom made they are very these curtains are very very heavy so if you live in some place that gets very cold i'm pretty sure it will also help with um keeping out some of that um that air as well but they also were ever so kind to send you all the discount code of 15 percent off so i will put all of that below um but when I tell you I love these curtains, I almost was thinking about moving them upstairs to my bedroom because I love them so much. You cannot go wrong with Nice Town. So, continue enjoying the video and I'll link everything below. Good morning, y'all. Today is Tuesday and it is like 6.22 in the morning. Um, Ariel and I are getting ready to head out for my lumbar puncture. Um, I did not get anything but probably like three hours of sleep. But look, it was because I could not sleep. And um, I will be on bed rest for like the next 24 to 48 hours. So I'm going to get plenty, plenty of sleep. And we did finish the office last night. Um... Should I show them that real quick? Okay, so I'm gonna show you the office real quick. Um, there's still some things that I wanna do in there, but it's now a workable office space. Um, and I'm blogging on my phone again because guess what? Ariel left the camera on all night. You left the camera on, it's not my camera. Ariel left the camera on all night and is dead. So I'm going to show you what the office looks like. Um, it's still dark outside. So yeah, let's do that. Those are the curtains. And when I tell you those are probably the best curtains, the best curtains ever. When I tell you they are so freaking heavy, I was considering taking them upstairs um, <laughs> and putting them in my bedroom because they're so heavy and they are completely blackout. Oh my goodness, those things are perfect and I'm in, in love with them. Okay, so let me switch gears. This is the office space. We have um, a box of books at the other house, um, but of course I did not bring it because First of all, we were in Ariel's car. And second of all, because it's heavy and I'm not supposed to be lifting anything right now. So this is what we're working with. And I absolutely love this space. Um, <laughs> I still need to get some more decor pieces and then to go along with what the books are gonna be like on, this, um, on those shelves. The pictures are from Etsy and I just downloaded them and for like a couple of dollars and then printed them. Um, over here, I plan to do something else. Not sure just yet, but this is what it looks like for now. And I'm in love with it. Let me know what y'all think about these shelves. They were pretty um, inexpensive to make and they were not horrible to make. So I'm just deciding also whether or not I should anchor them to the wall because of Kai and them being on carpet and because he's such a busybody. Um, so yeah, I may do that. I may anchor them to the wall. So there's no light bulb in, <laughs> in that light, uh, lamp because I forgot to buy some. So, okay, I got to get out of here. So I will talk to you guys uh, after a while. Good morning, guys. So today is Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see, I am in bed. Um, so I think the last time I checked in with you guys, Ariel and I were getting ready to leave to go to the hospital for me to have my lumbar puncture, which was yesterday morning. And I have been on bed rest, um, complete bed rest ever since I got home. I have to stay in bed for um, 24 to 48 hours just because that you have to make sure that the site seals properly. And since I've had multiple, it takes sometimes a little bit longer to make sure that that's done. So um, I've been laying in bed 
following directions. The only time I've gotten up is to go to the bathroom or to brush my teeth or I'll sit up and eat and then I'll lay back down. Um, so I will be in bed uh, for the remainder of today. I'll probably just get up to shower um, and then go back to bed. But anyway, a little bit about my lumbar puncture. So um, I'm not going to give too much medical stuff, you know, because it's not really... I mean, it's it, 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 it just basics is that so the they what they do is like it kind of it's like an epidural for, you know, most people who've had babies, you know, you get an epidural. It's basically almost in that same location. Besides at an epidural, they're not tapping into your um, spinal fluid. They're literally like right next to it because they don't want to mix the two. It's literally like the nerves right next to, you know, your um CSF, but for me, they're literally tapping into um, the spinal fluid because they want to measure the pressure, um, and that determines how much, you know, spinal fluid you have, you know, and they could tell how much is built up in your brain as well. So they they open they they measure the pressure. So a normal pressure for someone without my conditions or a shunt is twelve to 20. That's the normal, the normal range. But for a person who has a shunt, such as myself, the pressure should be a consistent 12 to 14. My pressure, as soon as she, as soon as she put the thing on, she said, I already know it's high. She said, I, I can already tell you it's going to be high. And she said, I'm thinking it's over 20. Well, it was. It was 22. So remember, a normal is 12 to 20. A person who has a shunt, such as myself, it should be 12 to 14. What does that mean? So, of course, they drain you back down. They take off enough. They put they, they drain me back down to like 13. So I went from a 22 to, to um, I'm sorry, I'm, my words are <clears throat> a little jumbled, but um, she takes me, she took me down from a 22 to 13. That helps with, of course, the headaches that helps with the pressure that's being put on, you know, I'm saying my nerves, which helps with my balance, helps with the pain that I feel in my legs, all of those things. Um, now does that mean my shun is broken? Does that mean that there's something else? I don't know. Um, at this point, it may mean my shunt is broken. Um, is either clogged something something's not flowing properly because there's no reason that I should be at a 22 when I just had a lumbar puncture November of last year. So my neurosurgeon was supposed to give me a call last night um, <clears throat> because they get the report within like an hour and they told me that they would call me but they didn't. Um, so it's a good chance I won't hear anything until probably tomorrow because his, um, his assistant isn't in the office today. So I don't know if I'll hear anything today. <sighs> Either way, I am still in good spirits. Um, I'm trying to think positive. I don't know, like I said, what the next steps is or if, um, I'm going to need a shunt replacement. The lifespan on a shunt of the type that I have is six years max. I've had mine for two and a half. So, um, yeah, two and a half. So it's a little frustrating. Um, but like I said, I'm staying in good spirits and I am, um, yeah, that I mean that there's nothing much else to say about it. Um, my new couch is supposed to arrive today. Um, thankfully, Ariel's here, so she'll be um, down there when they come. She has been awesome. <laughs> my family has been awesome. You guys have been awesome. Like, I, I'm just so thankful. So on that note, I'm going to end this vlog um, and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Um, 
yeah, Sunday. So until the end, you all have a good day and a good rest of your week. Bye.